images, emotions, sensations. They all are in change. They arise like clouds in the sky or waves. You don't have to do anything about them. You don't have to follow all the waves like at the edge of the ocean when you're watching each wave carefully. Relax. Rest in loving awareness. And simply notice how everything appears for a little while and then vanishes. Hello, and welcome to Heart Wisdom, Jack Hornfield's podcast on the Be Here Now Network. I'm Ganesh, honored to open the door to episode 234, a guided meditation on mindful, loving awareness. The term loving awareness stems from the namesake of this network and one of Jack's greatest friends and colleagues, Ram Das, when he moved to Maui after the stroke, he really distilled his teachings down into loving awareness. He would go on stage on Maui or sit in his room upstairs looking out of the ocean and become absorbed in the mantra, I am loving awareness. I am loving awareness loving awareness, loving awareness. And if you happen to be around him, you would become absorbed into the state of being that was created. And despite recognizing this, I slept on the loving awareness mantra for quite some time. Until recently, one of my friends who I stayed with at Ram Dass's for a while came and visited and reinstated this mantra back into my heart. I wanted the mystical mantra, the long Sanskrit verses, but what Ram Dass gave us, as well as what Jack gave us, were lives dedicated to spelunking various spiritual paths. And these two great teachers, Jack Cornfield and Ram Dass, both seem to come to a conclusion, the same conclusion that when you take all these paths and you superimpose them over each other and sift down to the very core essence of the teaching, you get to loving awareness, mindful loving awareness. After Ram Dass passed, Jack was the key speaker at the Love Serve Remember retreat and he led a meditation on loving awareness. It really felt as if Ram Dass had passed a torch. And with that, I am honored to keep the flame of mindful loving awareness lit for this episode 234, a guided meditation on mindful loving awareness. But before we dive in, I do have a quick bit of housekeeping. On May 20th, the Power of Awareness, a seven-week mindfulness training with Jack Hornfield, Tara Brock, Condom Mason, and Devin Berry begins. This is one of the premier online mindfulness trainings, and if you are interested, I implore you to head to jackhornfield.com to find out more information about the Power of Awareness. And I'm not sure why things keep being scheduled like this, but we have a Amazing Cornfield doubleheader on May 20th for the Spirit Rock Monday Night Dharma Talk and Meditation. These are live online by Spirit Rock every single week, and Jack joins in once a month. And these are always pay what you can, so please come. As I always say, this is the guru bead on the mala for all things Jack. And if you would like to tap into what he has coming through his heart, this is your opportunity. 
And last but not least, we just began a online journey with Jack Cornfield and Dr. Dan Siegel called Living Beautifully, Transformative Science and Mindfulness Practices to Cultivate a Wise Heart. This is an online journey. This will always be available on jackcornfield.com. But if you would like to join into the two live question and answer sessions that accompany it with the live cohort, sign up before April 25th. So there we go. Thank you as always for joining in. I hope this meditation opens your heart, invites in a sense of ease, relaxation, and strength, and brings you to the space of intuitive, loving awareness. Namaste. So I invite you to find a way to sit and begin our meditation practice together. Find a steady, simple, grounded posture in whatever way you can. If you're sitting in a chair, let your feet be flat on the floor, cushion, whatever allows you to feel really connected, your body to the seat beneath you and all the way down into the earth, a steadiness. When you're ready, allow your eyes to close gently or keep them mostly downcast if that's better for you. And take a couple of long breaths. Let your body begin to settle. Let the eyes and face be soft. Loosen the jaw. If you like, roll your head in a little circle to let it find a simple upright. Let the shoulders relax and the arms and hands rest easily. Again, feel the weight of your body, gravity, and how the earth completely supports you when you let go into your seat. You're met by the strength and steadiness of the earth itself. You can rest on her. Let the belly be soft and the breath natural. And let the heart be soft as well to receive whatever arises with a spirit of kindness, compassion. Now with this embodied presence, begin to notice the play of human experience moment by moment. As you relax and rest in a mindful, loving awareness, notice how the breath breathes itself. You might feel it as coolness in the nostrils, swirling, tingling in the back of the throat, the rise and fall of chest or belly. If it helps, you can put your hand on your belly and feel the rise and fall in the palm of your hand. And with each breath, invite a sense of ease and calm. Ease. 
calm, whispered. And you relax in mindful, loving awareness. And just you let the mind quiet. And let the attention be present and kind. Begin to notice the beginnings and endings of experience. Everything rises and falls away. As you feel each breath, notice without struggle in whatever relaxed way you can, either the beginning or the ending of a breath, the space between breaths, the next beginning. Notice how the breath arises, is felt, and then dissolves. Rising and passing away of experience. Let it have its own rhythms, rising, appearing, experienced, and then sing away. And you are the mindful, loving awareness that notices gently the beginning, the middle, the end of the breath, and the next breath, and the next. And as you notice the beginning, 
and the ending of the breath, resting in mindful, loving awareness. You can also notice the moments when attention is pulled from the breath to a sound or a thought, to an emotion or an image. And notice how these two have a beginning and an end. There's a thought, a picture, words. You notice it. You relax, let it dissolve. It ends. Then you go back to the breath, the next beginning. Or maybe there's an emotion and you notice that. Feel it. And then after a time, you turn away and that ends. Images, emotions, sensations. They all are in change. They arise like clouds in the sky or waves. You don't have to do anything about them. You don't have to follow all the waves like at the edge of the ocean when you're watching each wave carefully. Relax. Rest in loving awareness and simply notice how everything appears for a little while and then vanishes. It's all made up of ever-changing experience and vibrations appearing for a moment or a time and then gone. And you are the mindful, loving awareness, gracious and easy. You are the mindful, loving awareness. Consciousness itself. And the breath begins and ends, rises and falls. And the waves of experience appear around the breath. And each of them is made of lots of little waves. The sensations in the body have lots of vibrations inside them. 
the thoughts and images have lots of pixelated parts, colors and words and ideas. The sounds have a field of changing vibration on the ear. And you rest in the stillness of the present. And let the field of change like the waves of the ocean rise and pass. Relax into awareness, trust it. It is your home. You are the gracious awareness. That notices the arising and passing the waves of the ocean of experience. And you are the silent vast consciousness. That notices. You are the loving awareness. Rest in it. Trust it. Relax into it.
letting the mind quiet, the breath settle with ease and calm. Let the heart soften and rest in kind attention. One more minute, relax into loving awareness. Spacious, kind. And when you're ready, <clears throat> let your eyes open gently and keep the same spirit of kind attention, presence, 